I'm Matt with the National Weather Service Chicago office located in Romeoville. It is 5 p.m. on Tuesday, June 11th. Thank you for joining me for this latest multimedia weather briefing. I'm going to take these next few minutes to bring you up to date on the latest regarding severe weather potential tonight going forward into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night when we expect there to be potential for a regional severe weather outbreak. What you need to know in terms of impacts. Severe thunderstorm potential will gradually increase tonight into tomorrow morning and then probably excel tomorrow afternoon. And so tomorrow afternoon and evening is the most favored time for severe weather, particularly in that red shaded area, which we call a moderate risk for severe weather issued by the National Weather Service. And that's a pretty enhanced risk compared, compared to normal. And the main impacts for many severe thunderstorms, which do develop, uh, especially during that Wednesday afternoon and evening time, would be damaging winds, but also large hail possible. Tornadoes are possible, particularly again in that red shaded area, and locally very heavy rainfall could be seen. Here's a look at radar late uh, afternoon on Tuesday, and we already see some thunderstorms that have developed in a few clusters across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. These will continue to move southeast, but in this yellow shaded area, you can see some radar echoes, some showers, even a few storms elsewhere up in Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. This is sort of the path uh, that is expected for any thunderstorms that will develop later on tonight and there could be scattered development really throughout the whole night can't rule out anything through the whole night and a few of these storms could be severe much more organized severe weather is expected well to the northwest tonight and so again here's that yellow axis highlighted on a regional map uh, as low pressure approaches the area we expect thunderstorms to develop tonight uh, scattered in that yellow area uh, much more organized thunderstorms off to our northwest. Now some of these organized thunderstorms may evolve in a complex that could be favorable of damaging winds and that could approach the Wisconsin Illinois state line tomorrow morning sometime after daybreak so that's something we'll have to watch but any of the scattered storms that develop tonight or tomorrow morning across northern Illinois northwest Indiana damaging winds and large hail will be the two main threats. There could also be some potential for heavy rainfall, especially if something organized and persistent were to develop late tonight into tomorrow morning. Now as we go forward into Wednesday afternoon and night, again this is the primary time for severe weather potential across the region. The low pressure is approaching and we expect there to be a pretty strong warm or even a stationary front out ahead of that low pressure system and that will be a focus along and north of that for potentially uh, significant severe weather and we expect thunderstorms to increase in coverage during the early to mid afternoon across central to northern Illinois and these should work eastward and that red shaded area again that's kind of the moderate risk area where we expect there to be a higher than normal potential for severe weather. Some of the initial storms that form could be strong supercells as we call them and could pose a tornado threat. The main threat with any storms will again be damaging winds. Uh, large hail will certainly be potential especially from the initial storms and in a heavy rainfall again we're just in a very moist atmosphere so a full mixed bag of severe weather on Wednesday. Damaging winds may be a little more of a primary threat but we're gonna have to keep an eye on on the others as well. So uh, a the, the most enhanced threat is going to be along and south of a Dixon to Chicago line. So that includes the Interstate 80 corridor, for instance, uh, further south the I-55 corridor, cities such as LaSalle, Peru, Pontiac, the southern metro of Chicago, Kankakee, and all of northwest Indiana would be included in, in that area that we'll have to, have to watch out for for really significant severe weather during the afternoon into the evening tomorrow. And a look at the three-day rainfall going forward shows the highest rainfall amounts again expected in northern Illinois and the nor northern Indiana uh, with the activity tonight into tomorrow morning. And then the activity that develops in the afternoon and evening tomorrow uh, is expected to be moving at a quicker rate but could put down very heavy rainfall in a very short amount of time so that will also have to be watched for a flash flooding concern. So again in summary severe thunderstorms are possible region-wide here tonight going into Wednesday the most favored timing late tonight in the Wednesday night, but especially Wednesday afternoon and evening. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes with the tomorrow afternoon and early evening, and then locally heavy rainfall, all, all possible with severe thunderstorms. 
It's 5 p.m. again on Tuesday, June 11. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia weather briefing. Forecast information could change and will likely be refined at a later time, so be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov slash Chicago, for the latest forecast information. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio and local media, as well as our social media pages on Facebook and Twitter, for the latest information on the severe weather event.